first open water race was when I was 11, and it was just a mile in Atlantic City. And um, <laughs> my brother was in the race, and they'd been he'd been trash talking me a little bit all week leading up to it. And I just remember I was very happy that uh, <laughs> I ended up beating him in that race, and so that was sort of my start in open water. But my first 10K when it was when I was about 13 or 14. For me, the the biggest um, impact I had was when I was at Pan Packs and um, we got to share our training camp with the pool swimmers as well and that was just really amazing for me and um, I'm one of the younger swimmers on the national team right now and all this, the older swimmers on the open water team, the veterans, they really, really helped me out and uh, I learned a lot rooming with them and I mean I would say I think it's probably one of the coolest things in the world to have some of your best friends be on the national team as well. So it's just amazing to watch them work and um, I really admire their attitudes in and out of the pool. I actually just roomed with Emily Bruneman in one of our camps and she's one of the people I really look up to. The big differences are just getting used to um, the sighting and swimming in uh, close proximity with other people. And when we were in Argentina, we were swimming in a river and fresh water, but uh, it was about 20 miles from the ocean. And a sea lion actually swam upriver 20 miles and was swimming next to us during the race. And that was very cool because he was just playing. And I mean, the officials were laughing, we were laughing. That was, that was just one of the very cool things about open water.